morning i think we are live here good morning hello and welcome back uh, this morning we are going to compare uh two espresso maker okay one is uh wakako pico presser okay wakako uh, pico presser so this is the portable espresso maker for outdoor okay you could use it indoor if you wanted to but if you are using the indoor just get yourself machine okay i mean don't bother with you know what don't bother with the manual machine yeah you know don't bother with it outdoor yes but not indoor if you are serious by espresso uh, get a real machine okay for, uh, for that's my opinion by the way okay that's my opinion by the way and then i'm going to compare that with my bravo barista pro all right but uh bravo barista express is still on sale last yesterday i checked uh bravo barista express is on still on sale so i'm gonna put the link down below on amazon I think 550 yeah so price still good so I'm gonna double check that later but yeah still good if you guys are still want it still available at around $550 price range okay so Bravo Brewster Pro I know if you're watching my video most likely you have some kind of rubber machine at home okay the Pro I do really enjoy over the years so this is very compact you know I mean, I'm on my little vacation right now. This is my vacation look here, my mustache going. So, you know, I usually bring my machine everywhere I go. As long as I drive distance, as long as I don't fly, I bring my uh, Brista Express or Pro, always. Okay. Uh, how many of you actually own this at home? Okay, let me know. Let me know in the comment section as well. And I do look at your live chat. I have, I have my laptop set up right here. Let's see here. I'm going to... This morning? Who's on this morning? We have... Uh, oh, we have someone from Korea as well. Is it... Is it... Hyungnim? Okay. Let's see. We have uh, fries on this morning as well. Richard, Ken, Rain. Shout out to Mr. Thomas. From Singapore. It's been a while, Thomas. Okay. Let's see who else is on. We have an AVG. We have a John. Okay, John's on. Tristan's on on this morning as well. Jay is on too. I have a hip hop dance from Phoenix. Yeah, we got some people on this morning. Again, welcome to live streaming as well. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Pico Press versus 50. Yeah, let's talk about that later as well. Okay. Shout out to Larry. Yeah, we got some few people on. Okay. Uh, so thing about the portable. Okay, let's talk about the Pico Press for a second. Okay, it comes to portable. Okay. I mean, you can actually take camping trip with it. I believe this is the only machine out there. Okay. This is the only espresso maker comes with non-pressurized baskets. Okay. Uh, if you don't know what non-pressurized basket is, Okay, let me show you what that is. Oh, so this is a single basket from Bravo. You see lots of holes in it. This is a non-pressurized basket, okay, which means uh, only way to control the pressure is uh, grind size. That's it. Okay? That's the grind size to control your pressure. And there is a pressurized basket out there. Pressurized means they have one tiny hole. Okay? So grind size doesn't really matter. So if you go with the like... Uh, Wakako makes it's called nano presser, okay, smaller version of it, and they're pressurized baskets. And then what else? Uh, quite a few, okay. They got Star Rest. So if you go to Amazon, there's a, a quite a few uh, espresso maker that does, you know, does not require, you know, fine grind size. But this one does. So this one is the pico presser. Look at the bottom, lots of holes in it, okay. So this, this one, you, you actually has to play with grind size. So this one, uh, I got the whole beans inside. Right on the top there, it's about 15 gram, okay? 14.9, so it's about 15 gram dose. So I'm going to put 15 gram with Pico Presso. With the Bravo Brista Pro. To stand the rate, okay? That's 18 gram, all right? So let's, uh, let's pull those shots. So this is just a, a medium to dark rose from... Uh, Neapolitan from Good Brothers Coffee there. Okay. 
comes to outdoor coffee, if you want to make good coffee, okay, I rec my recommendation is to bring the medium to dark roast, okay, like classic Italian style coffee beans. And then you don't bring like Ethiopia, something extremely light roast because it requires a lot of heat to extract good cup of coffee with especially light roast. And plus, I mean, Flagstaff, altitude is about 7,000 foot high, which means uh, my boiling temperature at 92 Celsius. So if you want to extract great light roast coffee, the flag, like high altitude, you have some challenges. So you have to play with the grind size even more. So a little bit more tricky. Not like some of you out there in sea level. Completely different, okay? Completely different way to think about making coffee. Just like making food, okay? So, as someone told me that the other day, uh, if you go uh, airplane ride, you know, if you travel or uh, air travel, whenever you eat something, let's say you eat, drink tomato juice, it's not the same as the tomato juice taste. It's not quite the same as the sea level. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I mean, if you try that before, let me know, okay? Because I'm not a big fan of tomato juice, so. Anyway, so let's put the shot with uh, Bravo Brewster Pro first. And after that, uh, let's uh, pull the shot with Pico Presso. But meantime, I'm gonna heat up this. I'm gonna heat up my uh, portal filter for a second. You know, the filter basket there, okay. Because again, the managing the heat is a key. I'm just gonna heat it up for a second here. Uh, again, with a pro, you don't have to worry about much. Hold on, let me flip the camera. There we go. Yeah, with pro, I mean, you don't, you know, I mean, already had the PID built in. Okay, so I got here, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do single dose option. 18 gram. I'm just gonna heat up my photo filter. So this is a convenience we have, right? At home. Not like outdoor. Okay. It's less messy. So if we drop something, you know, obviously we can catch it. Yeah, hold on, I'm just gonna do, I'm not gonna do, you know, fancy workflow here. I'm just gonna just make coffee. Yeah, which means we may have some channeling. I'm just gonna give it a quick temp. Uh, we talk about temp in this channel, temping pressure, just be consistent. Yeah, okay. just be consistent, that's it. Put my puck screen on the top. Lock it in. Hold on, let me clean up the. There I go. Uh, I got 18 gram going in. Let's try to shoot for like 40 gram out, guys. Kind of like one to two ratio there. We got one to two ratio. Hold on. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay. Give you guys a close look. I'm gonna do about three second pre-infusion. Let's go 40 gram. Okay, hopefully we are back. 
All right. The okay, connection here is like uh, very unique. So I'm here right now. So here's my camera stand right here to here. If I'm going to move my uh, phone a little that close, I just lost the connections as you saw. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's talk about this, this shot. I got 43 gram out. Okay. I got 43 gram out at around 22 seconds. Okay. Okay. Smells really good. Let's give it a try. Uh, I need a spoon. Hold on a second. You know what? I'm just going to drink it anyway. Okay. I should, I should stir it first. I'll be right back. I'm just going to go get my... Hold on a second. I got to unplug my microphone. All right. Let's try again. I'm going to put my microphone on. Just... Can you guys hear me? Make sure you, you, you guys, sometimes whenever I unplug and plug back in my microphone, I lose the connection. So maybe you, if you guys can hear me, let me know. Okay. Give me a thumbs up on it. Okay. But meantime, let's stir it. Okay, good. Hip hop then say we are good here. I'm just gonna stir it. So this is a Neapolitan coffee. From Good Brothers. I do have, by the way, I do have a coupon code for that as well, guys. I love coupon codes. I got 15% off for this coffee, so. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Classic, dark chocolate, Italian, you know, Italian classic, right? Dark chocolate, smooth. It's not sweet, though. It's more like 90%, 85%. Have you ever tried try the... 80 to 85 percent, even 90 percent dark chocolate. There, uh, I've been on a lower carb diet for the last couple of months, so I cut out all the sugar. So, only chocolate I eat is about 80 and 80 percent and up. Okay, 80 percent and up, just like that, right there. Dark chocolate tastes like dark chocolates, it's not that great, but you know, it's smooth, great for Americano, great for milk based drink. They're fantastic. Okay. Let's move on to pico presser, okay? Again, clean up. Easy, all right? Easy clean up for Brista Express. I love it. So let's talk about pico presser. So here's what we're gonna do, okay? Uh, I'm gonna be using my uh, built-in grinder, so let's be uh, consistent. Okay, let's be consistent with it. The problem is, I don't have a dosing cup, all right? I do not have a dosing cup, so which means I have to be creative, all right? This is not a 54 millimeter basket, by the way. This is not 54. I have no idea, oh, more light. But luckily, it fits in here. Wow, who knew, right? Luckily, it fits right in there, so it might work, okay? I'm just gonna take out my 3D dosing funnel. Lock. I cannot lock it in, but close enough, okay? So let's add, so this is about 15 gram going in. Let's 15 gram going in there. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. You gotta improvise, guys. It does work, surprisingly. I got 15 gram going in. Goodness. This is pretty cool. Okay. Again, I'm not going to, I wonder I can use my douche vision tool. No, nope, it's not good. This is more like 51, okay, 51, yeah. But, surprisingly, 
works really good there. I'm just gonna temp it. Uh, comes with a built-in temper, okay. I'm just gonna temp, just make sure nice and even. That's it, just even temp. Okay, so we are Pico Press is ready to go. I was very surprised by the, yeah, it just fits right in. I wonder I can, I wonder I could use, nah, you know, we're not gonna even try. Okay, I, I thought about for a second, okay. Maybe it'd be fun to use uh, bra uh, this basket on Bravo Brista Express, but okay, just simply, let's put everything together here. Uh, this one is, uh, this, this is more like, you know, kind of like cover for the top there. Okay. So this is the bottom piece, go like top. Okay, so that's like just the rubber piece, right? Uh, think about it as a spout, okay? Okay, think about it as a spout right there. So this is like rubber, uh, so, uh, so this is cover, okay? Protect the cover. So this is the rubber piece. Hold on, maybe I can take it out for you guys. So think of it as a spout. You can actually remove it, okay? Remove it. Um, but I'm not, I'm not gonna remove that because if you see channeling, yeah, you know, maybe we should try it without it. Okay, maybe we should try it without it. And then just pop right in, just like so, okay. So here is a uh, piston. That's where, where water goes in. Okay, it comes to water amounts. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm curious. I wonder how much I can actually put the water to the top. Okay. I'm just gonna add some water there. About 60 grams of water. Okay. So I'm going about 15 grams in, I added 60 grams of water. Uh, let's do one to two ratio. So I'm looking about 30 grams of liquid out, okay? I'm just gonna lock it in. Okay, just make sure it's airtight. You know what, I wish I can show you guys the, the bottomless action there. Maybe a little bit more tricky. <laughs> Hold on. Maybe like something like so. Maybe, I'm, I'm gonna change the angle. So hopefully I can show you guys the, how this thing works. It may, it may not work, so let, let's see here, okay. Again, okay, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming, folks, okay. So that's kind of what we do every day. We hang out, make some coffee. Okay, by the way, I never bring my scale to a camping trip, by the way, okay? I mean, I do, but I don't. But for this, for this uh, video, I'm very curious. Okay, hope you guys can see that. So let's put some shot here. Okay. First, I'm gonna start with the pre-infusion. Hold on, maybe we go like this. I'm just gonna do one hand action here, pre-infusion here. Start building the pressure. You see that? Start showing the liquid. I'm just gonna wait about about a couple of seconds there. You're soaking the puck right now. Okay, and then now, it looks pretty good though, by the way. Here, here is what we're gonna do, goodness. Uh, it, it is a little rough. So I go on to T ratio, 
30 grams right there. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. We got 30 grams out, okay? Okay. I'm just gonna put back the camera. So we do one to two, 30 grams of liquid of espresso. Let's taste. Again, I mean, if you are on some kind of camping trip, we never, uh, we never gonna be like this, this precise, okay? Lots of cream on the top. We did the one to two ratio, okay? So this is the coffee from Pico Presso. Cheers. Yeah. It's perfect. You know what? Again, uh, do not bring your light roast. Okay, do dark, dark roast. You, whenever you, uh, you are planning on making coffee outdoor, uh, this coffee is as good as uh, Bravo Brista Pro. Okay. Yes, uh, Bravo Brista Pro is a hotter. All right. Definitely hotter, you know, but comes the cup quality, this is as good. Okay. As good as for that coffee. Again, uh, if you are doing the kind of like medium to dark roast, I think uh, you're going to be fine. But once you're getting into lighter roast, man, don't. Okay. Uh, it's not worth it. All right. Especially light roast. It's hard to dial in. You need that heat to you. Because the fact is, whatever you go on camping trip, I mean, you don't have to, you know, warm up the, your gear properly anyway. You just don't have time for it. You just want to have cough coffee. You know, whenever you get up in the morning, just hot cough coffee. So just make sure have water ready. You should be fine. And let's see here, what else? I think, I think that's about it. I, think, I, I hope this answers your question, okay? Uh, again, pickle press is not cheap. It's about 150 bucks, okay? But 150 bucks get you, if you're using, you know, dark roast, you're gonna get a pretty high quality cup cup, okay? High quality cup cup and easy. All right, let's talk about the cleanup, okay? The cleanup matters too, all right? Just make sure to squeeze out the, all the water, okay? Make sure to squeeze out all the water there. So remove the, I mean, I like to remove the top, just make sure there's no water left. And then after that, just remove the bottom. Simply remove the bottom. Here we go. That's it. So that one, you're just gonna put that in the trash can or you know anywhere. Just yeah, the cleanup is pretty easy. I mean, this is what I like about. You know, comes to clean up easy, not like uh, any other coffee machines. So again, uh, comes to portable, you can take uh, actually camping with, I don't know about business trip though. I know some of you wants to go on like business trip, staying at the hotel, maybe bring yourself a hand grinder because most hotel room has hot water anyway, hot water kettle. Yeah, don't. No, just go downstairs, get yourself cup coffee. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, don't do it. All right. I know some of you like the idea of, you know, having an espresso in the morning in your hotel room. No, don't. Okay, just, you know, just go treat yourself. Okay, just go downstairs, have somebody make coffee for you. All right, hold on. Let's see here. Let's take out some uh, live chat questions here. Hold on, let me put my glasses on this time. Okay. We have, uh, let's see here. We have uh, ARG ask how to make a single shot on Brista Pro. Single shot, uh, don't use single shot, okay? Not worth it, all right? I don't know who come up with a single shot. I mean, that's, the, if you go to most coffee shops, right? If you order a single shot, they, okay, they pull double. Uh, so obviously they use a double spouted, okay? 
the pull double, and then they got you a single shot, right? And then they toss the other one. Because it's, I don't want to say impossible to make single shot, but it is very, very hard to make single shot cough coffee. So speaking of that, I mean, if you guys want to know, we have a 16 thumbs up right now. So uh, if, if you got 30 thumbs up total, 30 people watching, uh, I'm going to pull the single shot for you. Okay. Which means we need a 13 thumbs up right now. Okay. And then we're going to do single shot. All right. Okay. Let's see here. But again, uh, Amnio, shout out to Amnio from Florida. Okay, Florian, always here. Okay, Tristan say, uh, trick in hotel room, mocha pot upside down. <laughs> upside down the iron. That is clever. Okay, upside down the iron. There we go. That's awesome. Make a change. Man. You know what? Maybe I should try that. Okay, maybe I should try. Tristan mentioned about the, put the iron upside down, making a mocha pot. Goodness. Okay, we have a uh, Church Sadong Haiba. Your Church Sadong Haiba is joining us from Korea. Joayo, you're on YouTube. Shidalu, okay, good. My Korean's been getting rusty though. Okay, that's the thing about the using languages. If you don't use it, you lose it. Because I came here from Korea when I was in high school. Okay. So, uh, which means uh, when I was in high school, in sophomore year, yeah, I came here when I was in sophomore year in high school. So it's been a while. So, let's see here. Ozzy tricked, okay, mocha pot eye in there. Okay, it's got 24 thumbs up, okay. So we need a six more thumbs up for the single shot. Uh, we've got a request from, who requested? ARG, I think, yeah. Waka could just really a simple bench stand for pico press uh, with the even mirror. Okay, so Waka could just, is that rusty? Rusty. So here's the thing about the why you're gonna bring out the single, yeah, I mean the stand bench for the pico press with the mirror. Goodness. I don't know, I mean that's kind of like pointless, right? I mean if you wanna, I mean if you wanna make some kind of stand which is with a mirror, well, I don't know what's the point that is. Unless you want to be, you want to make some kind of content. You know, some kind of make content for your YouTube channel or Instagram. Makes sense, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know why. Unless you want to show up on your Instagram page for your friends. Maybe. Okay. Let's see here. 26 thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay, let's just see. I'm going to show you how to make a single shot for you. Single shot on any machines. My recommendation is don't, okay? Do not, okay, do not use a single shot basket on your rubber machines. But if you ask, so, so 18 gram, so our standard dose is 18 gram. But uh, with the regular single shot, we're gonna cut that in half, nine gram, okay? So nine gram, right? So let's think about the shot time. Every rules apply the same thing. So you want the, the shot needs to be around between, uh, I say about 20 to 30 seconds there, 25 and 30 seconds. So we are going to, shrink, uh, we are going to shrink to just grind size. That's it. Okay. And the uh, filter uh, basket size. So every rules, the same thing apply. So we've got nine gram on uh, nine gram dosing. We want to put one to two ratio, right? So 18 to 20 gram shot between 25 and 30 seconds. Let's think about for a second. About 20 gram shot. First of all, that is a single shot. That's not a whole lot of espresso, okay? That's not much, okay? I mean, that's why, I mean, that's worse than, 
you know, some kind of portable. I mean, any kind of portable, what, uh, espresso motion out there, they do like 11 gram dose. So we are looking at nine gram dose, okay. So let's go, let, let me measure out nine gram. Okay. If you are just joining us, uh, I'm showing us how to pull single shot on your Brista Express. Uh, kind of the same applied to Bra, Bra Brista Express or Pro, same thing. So we're gonna go nine gram dose. That's it. That's not much. I don't know who wants to drink nine gram dose. I know a lot of people are into like, the thing about the uh, America uh, espresso habits, uh, we have a triple basket and quadruple. I know some of you out there use 24 gram baskets as well. I saw one for like 26 gram the other day, okay. That's a lot of espresso. I'm just gonna get my, you see that? So this is a single, okay? You see the, how much empty space you have? Not a lot. I'm gonna dose that nine gram. Okay, if you're joining us, uh, So we just compare Pico Presso versus Bravo Brista Pro, okay? So now we have a request from one of our viewer to show how to pour single shots, okay? Single shot baskets. Everything is our same, uh, apply the same, same method, okay? And I like to put the, my puck screen down as well, okay? And I do like to enjoy the puck screen. It makes it a lot easier to clean up. Yeah, that's okay, I got my cup ready, okay? Same thing applies, right? One to two, nine gram in, around 20 grams out. And uh, I'm trying to shift for between like, you know, let's try 20 and 20, uh, 20 and 30 second range there. So you can do a couple different ways, okay? You can press the single cup button here or double cup button. So they're based on value metric, okay? All right. You could press single cup, but you don't have a lot of control with automatic mode. So I like to use a manual mode. Manual mode is I'm gonna hold down. And then whatever I let it go, give you full power. So as long as you hold the pressure on, give you that uh, kind of like pre-infusion mode. I'm gonna try, for, uh, try to shoot for 20 grand. I got 17 second shot, okay. 17 second at 23. So what I can do is the 17 and 23 gram. So right now my grind says a number 14. So I can go down to maybe like number 12. And I'm gonna change the grind size even finer, okay? And I'm gonna extend the uh, time of the extraction. So, you know, let's try this 17 second shot anyway. Okay, 23 gram. That's it right there. So that is your single shot, okay, 23. Usually one to two ratio is about uh, 19. So let's say 20 grams. So you, it's not much, okay. You just, you know, you slam it down, you're, you'll be good to go. Cheers. Yeah, definitely I can taste it a little under extracted. Again, which means you go, obviously you need to change your grind size, but you know, I, I hope you guys get the point, okay. Everything is the same like 25 and 30 seconds. And then only thing you're changing is uh, uh, your dosing amount. So instead of using 18 gram, go down to nine, okay? And you just dialed it. And then pretty much the same process there. Uh, single shot, I don't know. 
I'm not a big fan of single shot. A little bit more tricky. And you don't get much anyway. But, you know, but still the same thing, same process. Hold on. Let's see here. Who else is on this morning? We got MGS is on. Okay. Dot Rock. Yep. I think nine gram dose is more, more for dark Italian rust. Yes, that def definitely tends to be more intense and bitter. Yeah, people like the bitter coffee too. Okay. Okay, Nunez is asking me about the high uh, Posada HE baskets. Man, they are fantastic, by the way. They are great. Okay. Uh, definitely, I can tell the difference in the uh, flavor profile for sure. So now, since I got the H, uh, high extraction basket from Posada, I'm very curious about the, the uni baskets, okay? Not the uni filter from Weber, uni baskets. It's about 80 bucks, all right? So yeah, I'm very curious about that one as well. Okay, we have a Ben. Ben has, I have to make single shot for my girlfriend after while getting hang of it. Still prefer, still prefer the double shot though, yes. Yeah. 80 plus 35, yep. Yeah. I'm telling you, the, the uni baskets, that's the killer, right? Because the H uh, Posada baskets, uh, for the U.S. dollar conversion, is about sixty bucks, sixty or seventy bucks there. I, I think it's about sixty bucks, sixty. Yeah, we, you, from U.S., not from Australia, but the shipping is a killer. Okay, you have to pay a lot of shipping for that. So that cost me well, just under hundred bucks for H.E. baskets, high uh, high EO. But if you go to a uh, uni basket from Weber, I'm trying to get one a couple of days ago. With the shipping and basket, uh, it's, uh, it's going to be costing me around like 110. So uh, I have not ordered it yet. I'm still thinking about it. 110 bucks for the basket. We are talking about baskets. All right, 110 bucks. That's still cheaper than WAPO baskets. Okay, WAPO is about $200. For the basket and their shipping cost who knows another 30 bucks so let's say 250 bucks for the basket there for wapo so this is the ims basket from amazon precision baskets this one costs you about 35 bucks i don't know okay but uh if you are into lighter roast make a difference i think you're gonna you're, but if you're into dark italian style coffee roast Maybe not. Okay, so uh, wanna so when I'm back in town, uh, we're gonna deep dive into the world of high extraction baskets. So because I have the high yield basket from IMS as well, so uh, it should be interesting to compare uh, compare that one. Okay. And then uh, Dan asked me, is a Ben asking me, who, are you getting the, getting, Dan, Dan said, are you getting the smaller one? Okay, so I got the smaller uh, high ear baskets. So that's the 18 gram size. Okay, so I got the high ear from Posado, that's 18 gram. And therefore, if I'm gonna get the uni basket from Weber, I think I'm gonna get the 20 gram baskets. Okay, 20 gram baskets. Because 20 gram has, you know, you can go a little lower. So you can, 20 gram baskets, I think I can do like 18 gram. But if you go to 18 gram uni baskets, max you can do about 18 gram, depending on the coffee roast level. So yeah, so I think if I'm gonna get the uni baskets, definitely 20 gram. Let's see who else is on this morning. Brian, he say something here. Oh, no, Dan is asking me about the smaller basket. He's, uh, Dan is asking me, I'm getting smaller. Yeah, that's why you have to put your glasses on. Yeah. I'm not getting smaller, I'm losing weight. That's what happens. Yeah. I mean, that, yeah, that's the problem with, so uh, I, some of you already may not know about, due to my medical reason, I'm on the no sugar diet, okay? 
no sugar uh, lifestyle. Uh, if you haven't followed me on my cooking channel, it's called Hun's Kitchen. Make sure follow me there. That's, I think I had that channel for quite a while. Because, so that's my secret. I don't want to say secret channel, but that's my cooking channel. Coffee and cooking is my passion. So uh, Hun's Kitchen, make sure to check it out. It's fun. Okay, I do a lot of low carb meal. Again, uh, the other day I did the liver and onions and mushroom. That was fantastic. Yeah, so that's what I do. Yeah, again, uh, I'm under no sugar, which means no grains, right? I love rice. I cannot have that anymore. No pasta, no bread. So anything turning in, turn into sugar, pretty much I cut out. So that's the reason I've been losing some weight there. Yeah, not because I want to be look good. You know, uh, what else? I think, we are, I think we are good for this morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. And uh, hopefully we're going to play with something else tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow morning. Hold on. I'm at, say, uh, I think, hold on a second. Hold on. Dan is t talking about, hold on. IMS competition baskets, slope, slope in the middle. Yeah, I, you know, I think IMS has, they make so many different baskets in IMS. I mean, I cannot keep track of it. Okay. MGS has uh, Sebi, uh, eating some pomegranate seeds, yummy and sweet. Okay. Chip in asking me about the, can you suggest entry level grinder? Uh, entry level grinder, they are loaded question. Okay. Uh, there's no, that's the thing about the entry level grinder, right? They got tons and tons of them out there. Uh, just, you know, I mean, can go, wrong, uh, can go wrong with, you know, go with a brand name. Okay. That's my recommendation. Bracha or Fella or uh, Eureka, some kind of brand name. You can start with that. Okay. And if you want to go something cheaper, uh, terrain, DF, okay, DF, uh, DF makes, you know, uh, good entry level, okay? I mean, if you don't want to go with the brand name ones, so DF is the, uh, uh, Turin makes uh, fantastic entry level coffee grinders as well. So they got quite a few, so, yeah. And then Bracha, Brian say, yep, uh, Bracha, Encore ESP. Bracha, Encore ESP. Also, we have a fellow Opus as well that's under 200 bucks range there. So, you know, I mean, I mean, they're pretty good entry level, okay? I mean, invest 200 bucks on Grinder. you know, you're not going to lose much if you don't like it. Get it from Amazon, right? If you use it for like a couple of weeks, if you don't like it, just return it. Yeah, I mean, that's the best way to go. If you, are, if you have an Amazon uh, membership, uh, they are easy. But, uh, are we good? We've been talking for like 43 minutes. Again, if you are joining us for the first time, as you can see, this is what we do okay, every morning. We hang out, make some coffee, we chit chat for a little bit, and that's it. Okay, I'm, hold on. Someone, someone say about tempo, hold on a second here. Timer sculptor, right? I know a lot of people are waiting for sculptor now from timer. Okay. Someone asked me about uh, my diet temporary. No. No, pretty much I'm doing it for the rest of my life. Yeah. Let's see here. Mr. Pamploy, yeah, 064S. Okay, I'm waiting for the timer when it comes out uh, uh, for sale. Uh, man, you gotta wait for a long time, okay? Because they, they did thousands and thousands of pre-order. They have to catch up the pre-order first. And then hopefully, hopefully by end of year so you can buy some. I know some of you got the, you know, startup price, right? 350, 349 for the timer. I think you have to pay the regular price, like 450. Okay, so Dot Rock say the ESP. I mean, that's step grinder. I'm just, just like Dot Rock say. I mean, it's a step grinder. So, comes to dialing in, you want to be stepless. But, but for the entry level, it's, you know, I mean, hey, you know, you know that's, the, that's not a bad idea, though. Okay, just entry level, just learn it, learn, learn how to use it. 
you know, trying to understand how grinder works, grind size works. You know, step grinder is, you know, uh, that's pretty good starting point, but you know, ultimately you want to move up to step less grinder. Okay, step less grinder. All right, folks, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Uh, so that was a lot of fun, okay? Again, uh, we uh, compare with the Bravo Booster Pro versus Wakako Pico Presso. As long as we are using the dark roast coffee, the quality, quality is about the same, okay? It's not a whole lot of difference there. So I hope this video helps. I'm going to see you guys next time.